I'm Kirsty Parada, Teratogen Information Specialist and Co-Chair of the Emerging Issues Task Force for Mother to Baby. With COVID cases rising throughout the country yet again, it's important to remember that people who are pregnant have a higher chance of complications from COVID-19. This group should continue to take precautions to prevent infection in order to keep both mom and baby healthy. Studies have shown that when people who are pregnant get COVID-19, they have a higher chance of becoming very sick, being admitted to the ICU, and needing to be put on a ventilator. Although the overall risk is low, some studies have also reported a higher chance of death. At this point, we have a good amount of data looking at the effects of a COVID-19 infection in pregnancy, and reassuringly, the studies do not suggest an increased risk for birth defects when a COVID infection happens in the first trimester. That said, we do know that COVID-19 can cause fever, and a high fever early in pregnancy is known to increase the chance for neural tube defects, a serious defect of the baby's brain and spinal cord. Taking acetaminophen, like regular strength Tylenol, is generally recommended to control fever during pregnancy. As far as pregnancy complications, we know that having COVID-19 in pregnancy can increase the chance for preterm delivery, stillbirth, preeclampsia, blood clots, and the need for emergency C-section. Sometimes the virus can also infect the placenta. The good news is that preliminary studies show that people who are up to date with COVID-19 vaccines in pregnancy are less likely to experience pregnancy complications from a COVID-19 infection than people who are not up to date. Staying up to date with COVID-19 vaccination is the best way to protect yourself against complications from COVID. Everyone over the age of six should receive the latest COVID-19 vaccine to be considered up to date. The shot is available at many pharmacies and doctor's offices throughout the country. Much like a yearly flu shot, the COVID-19 vaccine gets updated based on which strains of the virus are circulating in the community. However, the vaccine still contains the same ingredients as the original COVID-19 shots, which are well studied. Based on these studies, which include thousands of exposed pregnancies, the mRNA COVID-19 vaccines are not expected to increase the chance for miscarriage, birth defects, pregnancy complications, or long-term effects for the child. You can get a COVID-19 vaccine at any point in pregnancy. When a pregnant person gets a COVID-19 vaccine, the antibodies that are made in the body can cross the placenta and reach the developing baby, providing protection against a COVID-19 infection in the baby for the first few months of life. This is great since babies aren't able to get their own COVID shots until six months of age. In addition to staying up to date with COVID-19 vaccines, there are other preventative measures people can take to lower the chance of infection. Wearing a good quality mask, avoiding large indoor gatherings, avoiding contact with people who might have COVID, and washing your hands often are all great ways to lower your risk. If a pregnant person tests positive for COVID-19, they should talk to their doctor to see if antiviral medication, known as Paxlovid, is recommended to lower the chance of needing to be hospitalized from the infection. Please visit mothertobaby.org for the latest information on COVID-19. On our website, you can find fact sheets for both COVID-19 infection and COVID-19 vaccines, as well as Paxlovid. You can also give us a call, email, chat, or text to speak with a specialist about any individual COVID-19 questions or concerns you may have.